everybody. I'm back. So, uh, I think I'm going to mix things up. No, I'll do my DIYs first. So, um, this is a piece of furniture that I've had for a while, and it was black. Um, it's kind of an expensive piece. It's, um, is it a Bory Hill? Yes, it is made by Bory Hill, and it was all black. And I'm going to go kind of the white, shabby chic, uh, mix it up. I know that every good designer throws black in a room somewhere. I'm going to do that. Um, maybe just not so much. So um, let me just show you what I've been working on. And it's not done. I'm probably going to replace the knob. So let me move. I probably should have moved my computer before I did this. But I didn't. So anyway, if we can get this on here. Tilt it down there. So it is a cabinet. It's actually a nightstand. And what I'm going to do is see if I can get a better shot of it. I have to back it up. There you go. I'm going to go back further. So there it is. Um, pull my computer over some. So it's really, really cute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to really take this this sandpaper. The grit isn't uh, gritty enough. So it was black, and I'm going to take it and just scratch the crap out of it and take a chain and beat it up and uh, make it really look distressed. And down below it has um, storage. You can see there. I just put the old handles back on. I think I'm going to chain or old. Uh, yeah, that's what drawer pulls or whatever. So yeah, the it's got little black legs on it. I have to unscrew those and paint those. Um, I think I'm just going to dip them or probably spray paint them instead of using a brush. Turn this back around. And then, yeah, so that's... Um, my husband said, why don't we just show them everything? I said, no. I'm, I need to leave something for the imagination, but anyway, so yeah, this is the cabinet. It's taken me a long time to paint this. It's been a nightmare, really long, like several coats. Um, they say it's easier to paint over black with white. You would think it wouldn't be, but it is. It's easier to paint white over black than black over white because white just sh sticks through. So I'm this sandpaper is 400 grit and it's um, I guess the bigger the number the smaller the grit so you need a lower number it's not it's not gritty enough to sand I want the edges to show through black and uh, I'm gonna beat it up and so yeah it was in perfect condition black and so yeah to give it that shabby chic look I was going to use like a milk paint and I decided just to use a regular flat paint and then I'm going to get a glass top for it, a mirrored top I think. So there's that and then this is the other DIY that I've been working on and I don't think I've ever viewed this. Um, this is a candelier. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of these. This is from Village Candle um, and it came in brown originally and you can see where I've been scuffing it up. I'm going to hang it above a chair. It's really cute. So you can see where I'm not done with it. I started painting it white, and then I was like, why did I even bother? Why did I start that? Because it's a nightmare. These come off, um, which makes it easier to paint. But you can see where I've scuffed it up, um, and it's it's not electrical. So when you hang it up, I still have to paint the chain and everything. So I'm just going to take the chain off, take it outside, and spray it. Because if I sprayed it inside, it would be a nightmare the overspray would just be a disaster. Um, and as you can see the candle cups, I just have a basic candle. I don't have a, any red ones or anything or teal yet, but they just sit in there and these do not come off. So I'm going to have to tape all the glass off. The glass doesn't come out. The handles come off. Um, so yeah, this is the other DIY that I've been working on. So I will show you this when it's completely finished. It's just about done. Um, it's been a lot of work. So I've been working on that, those two things. And then I showed you the wreath, the wreath that I was working on. I'm still not done with that. 
this has been a nightmare. I've got to go pick up more uh, burlap and then decide what's going to go at the bottom. So I kind of have an idea. But anyway, those are the two DIYs. I was going to bring in the, some cushions off some of the furniture and then I thought, uh, I think I'm just going to wait. I've got to wait until I set up the living room. So uh, there's that. And then uh, yeah, like I said, I went into Ulta yesterday. Excuse me, my eyelashes are bothering me. And I was expecting to see uh, a bunch of Valentine's packages and you know different makeup sets and stuff. And they didn't. They only had like one. It wasn't even a Valentine's. Uh, it was bare minerals, but it, they didn't have anything that I didn't already have. So. Um, but I did pick up a couple things, so I like I do my reviews separately. So I thought I would show you guys this real quick. Um, shorten my, I was trying to shorten my videos a little bit so they're not so long, and uh, I will be right back. Um, yeah, so one, two, there's three right there. So I will have these done by tomorrow, and I will show you the finished product. I think I'm going to change the handles out to something more colorful so you can see this little piece of wood needs some monkey glue for some reason it got bumped I'm not going to nail it I'm just going to use glue um, but I might I like it a lot better white I just think it looks really cute I think I'll put it next to the new couch so anyway and then I thought the candelier hanging in a corner or something would look really cute but anyway I was going to paint the fireplace I don't know if I'm going to even go there. So, yeah. I will be right back again with another video. So, uh, we're at six minutes. So, and I will show you that pro the couple products that I picked up at Ulta, or Ulta and uh, a couple other Valentine's products. And that's pretty much it for the night. And I'm waiting for shipping. And uh, I'm going to hit the malls tomorrow. And, uh, I have tons of gift cards I need to use, so I'm not sure what I will hit, but I'm out searching for Valentine's Day. That's one of my second favorite holidays, or third. So, um, yeah, that's about it. And if you guys want to see my Lush collection, there is another idea I came up with. I showed you guys these, these candles that I bought. No, I don't think Lush, Lush. I don't think Bath and Body Works puts out any Valentine's Day candles. I don't. But I think this mint chocolate, if you guys happen to have a hold of it, this would make an awesome gift for Valentine's Day. Just the colors and we I'm saving this. I am because it matches the couch, the chair, and so usually what I do is peel the label off. Although I think this label's really cute because it's got my colors in it, but this just Oh, it smells fabulous. I don't even want to use it. So my husband said, why don't we just take the lid off and see, you know, just not light it. But this is like the best candle I think I've ever bought from there. You can see how the wicks are completely centered perfectly. I'm really obsessive when it comes to, she's like, what are you looking at? I'm like looking at the wicks to see if they're placed right because if one gets over to the edge too far it will crack and it's done that to me before but yeah this is an awesome 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 would be get great for a valentine's day basket so i'm planning on doing something like that to give you guys some ideas and i'm going to hit bath and body works back up for um valentine's day stuff so i was going to do a quick outfit of the day i will do that on my next Upload so let me get this one uploaded. Uh, we're at nine minutes, and then uh, yeah, so that's that cabinet I've had sitting in our kitchen for weeks with a drop cloth under it. And I'm like, I have got to get this finished. So I've been using a roller, a brush. It's been a nightmare. And then I went to grid it up with the sandpaper, and I lost my other really gritty one. So I need to get a newer one tomorrow. Because this one is just not gritty enough. It's not taking off enough paint. And I really am going to beat it up with a chain. That's what you use. A chain, uh, a hammer. You can take it the side of a nail and hit it with that. And that will make the... You, usually what you do is before you paint it, and I did, you take a piece of wax or a candle and you take it over the, the uh, piece of furniture where you want to grit it up and just write it down like 
left corner, side, whatever, so you can remember where you put the wax, and that kind of holds the paint off. It will go over it, but then when you go to grip, scratch it up and dent it, um, the wax holds the paint. It makes it easier to remove the paint, so um, when you go to beat it up, you know where the wax is. You can say, like, the middle. Just you got to make notes to yourself where you put the wax. So I did, and when I go to grit it up, it's going to be beautiful, I think. And I'm going to replace these knobs. Um, sorry about that. Every time I pull that out, I'm not really into stainless steel. So um, I know Target has a big section of, see, here's the knob here. And I'm not really, that doesn't look, really look shabby chic. Um, I know it looked great with the black. So I'm going to go get some really unique um, knobs tomorrow so yeah they have a big section of I don't know why I'm calling them knobs kitchen cabinet poles or whatever so and find some ceramic ones I don't know what I put some other ones on another piece of furniture I think they're in the bedroom which Anthony is sleeping so you probably wouldn't appreciate that you're not in here either yeah so I did this table over here. I can't show you right now. It's kind of got a mess on it. So and I'm working on getting this bed out of here. My next office is not going to have a bed in it. There's no reason to have a, a bed in my blogging room. So anyway, I will be right back. Let me upload this, and then we will be done for the night. Hopefully tomorrow I will have good news that my packages have come. So anyway, see you in a minute. Love you all, and subscribe, subscribe. We're at 350, so let's keep going. Love you all. Bye.